What's up guys, it's Chris. Today we're taking a look at the best build for Nemesis and it is no joke. For the add-ons, we have Marvin's Blood to tear up our power faster and the Broken Recovery Coin to remove one vaccine. For the perks, we have Corrupt to block three gems at the start of the game, Deadlock to block the gem with the most progress each time one is completed, Discordance to see when two or more survivors are on a gen together, and Grim Embrace to block gems each time we hook a unique survivor. This build is super powerful and gives Nemesis everything he needs to dominate, but enough talking about it and I'll show it to you guys in action. Action. There we go, Larry's with the best enemy build. This is actually going to be a pretty good map to be able to show this off uh, pretty well because uh, not a great enemy map. The zombies can get good value, but there's just so much chain stuff that sometimes uh, pulling the whip can be a little bit difficult. But uh, Corrupt here is really, really good to be able to buy us some time at the start of the game to get our power ramped up as long as we get our eyes on somebody pretty quick. Just some scratch marks or anything. But yeah, buy some time so they can't just be slamming gens and we can uh, we can get into hopefully tier two pretty early. Uh, it's always, if you can get into tier three before Corrupt's gone, you're going to be having a great fucking game. <laughs> I just need to actually get my eyes on somebody, so we're probably going to cut to when that happens. These little goblins that stealth. Oh, we're over here. Okay, I just saw them kill my zombie and we got Discordance info right away, so I'm just going to head right on over. I uh, shouldn't have too much progress on this at all. Peekaboo. So, pretty much no matter what with Nemi, whoa. Uh, you can be in, like, pretty consistent win-win situations. Whether you're going for an M1 or um, a whip early on. Because if you're M1-ing, they're injured and they're going to be more likely to, uh, like, drop pallets and stuff, giving you free hits with your power. But also, you know, if you're just getting the M2, you're building up that uh, power early on so you can just destroy these pallets. And there's some really good pallets on... Larry's. Oop, my bad. I uh, can't quite recover in time. Really, really strong. There's just a ton on this map. Looks like she does not even think about looking behind her. Is there a basement here? Yeah. Very nice. Tier 2 already. I'm just going to head right back for this gen. Oh, zombie got a hit there too. That's really nice. Uh, okay, our Alan. Is he going to be eating that? Yep. Very nice. I do just want to keep an eye on this gen they started out the game on. They're halfway to tier 3 already, which is really nice. Surprised they didn't connect with him, to be honest. I'm still thinking the Cheryl's like floating around a little bit. Boom! I'm not even going to break that right away. Oh. Well, he outplayed me. I don't know what I can do about that. Sit over here real quick. Uh, Discordance 2, one thing to let you guys know. Anytime that's like making the loud noise notification on the gens, uh, it is going to be notifying the zombies, which is awesome for you because they will just run right over to it. And obviously, who doesn't want that? Take a little M1 there. And I'll just let the Allen plot twist, whatever. Not a big deal. But yeah, we're already tier 3 at uh, 5 gens. Which is obviously fucking amazing. Who doesn't want that? And we got a nice little down there. I could just throw him in basement, but I want to just keep an eye on this shed for one second here. Really, really good passive slowdown on this build. So we don't have to be going around, you know, uh, making sure we're getting score checks or uh, kicking a bunch of gens or anything. But getting that regressing is definitely not a bad idea. There you go, buddy. All right. So, Makilla did use a little vaccine. It was over there. I'm expecting one of those just to pop soon, but we got Grim and Brace to buy us even more time. That's 12 seconds there where they just can't do any gens at all. And that looked like our Makayla. Makayla's can be pretty interesting creatures. If she doesn't have Lithe, I'll be blown away. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about with them being interesting. Not great value out of that, but yeah, I'm going to buy her a little bit of time. She got that toolbox, too. I'm surprised she hasn't been able to... You have anything out that window's getting vaulted right away. Oh no! God pallet. That's a Michaela. Scored us once again. Take that M1. Really good job at splitting pressure here. God, this guy's just yamming pallets. I'll take him gladly. But yeah, there's a lot of gen blocking going on in this build too. One thing I want to point out, which is Really, really good right now after Behavior did the gen damage changes where you can only have eight regression events per generator. Um, that was a really strong change for Survivor. 
So having limited damages on gens and instead buying time to just blocking them all the time is really, really good right now. And this build's amazing at doing that. Not quite. That's going down pretty quick. Oh. Didn't get locked in there. Dude, this zombie was so close to dubbing. That should be a hit right at the window if she would have went for it. There you go, buddy. Get her tossed up. That'll be Grim Embrace number two. Very, very good stuff. Do not have to play as nice as I'm trying to here either, uh, especially with deadlock and stuff buying you time. Nemi is pretty well known for <laughs> being uh, a killer a lot of people like to tunnel on, and this build will definitely allow you to do that. I'm just going to be trying to go out of my way to, uh, even though they have all these toolboxes that play as nice as they can, and really try and get value out of this build. I think it's really, really uh, cool to be able to show it off when we, you know, just give them as much time and stuff as possible to try to get their stuff done. It's a Cheryl. There you go, buddy. Get that little down nice and quick. That's uh, Grow Embrace number three. Last one now is Alan, I think, because we let him plot twist and stuff. This build is really solid, though, and I think Nemi's so much fun, so any build that, like, buys you time to be able to sit there um, getting more value out of your power is just always going to be a blast to me on Nemi. You know, I, I mean, I think his power is super fun and satisfying to use. Uh, a lot more fun and interesting than live. Isn't that right, Michaela? That perk is not interesting at all, at least in my opinion. So just the fact that we can sit there and really go for the M2s and not have to suffer too much. Oh, my bad. Really, really fun to me. There you go, buddy. Discordance value again. I could always, anytime Discordance does pop like that, you could just head right over to it. But again, we got deadlock and stuff. We're kind of bing chilling. Do want to get that Allen suit though. Hello. Doesn't use that window. Yeah, we'll go for toolbox gamer number four. I actually don't know how many they had. It was at least three, though. Ah, fuck. My bad. Played that weirder than I could have even imagined. Looks like he's just a Windows toolbox gamer. So, pretty predictable. The things will probably... Or, uh, the thing, I'll probably be able to guess pretty easily what he's going to do from now on. I think. Pre-drop. Old W. Do Jin. Yeah. That seems about right. All right, I think that is our last uh, stack of Grim Embrace. So we'll see Vittorio, uh, his aura, and we could go to kill Michaela, which is a really good call. There we go. Block up all the gens for 40 seconds. There's our Vittorio. Uh, what's he up to? I'll just take an M1 here. Why not? I'll probably just take that and... Unless he really messes up here, I'll probably just head out. I do want to try and find them a kill, just get her dead. So it can't just be all slamming gins. That's no fun, right? <laughs> oh, wow, that can't connect. That was right through her. Yeah. There's our little Michaela. Whole team of gin rats. It's going to be doing good to show off this build. Lies brain. C window vault window. That is a hit right there. Very nice. Get this kicked up. Boom. Uh, somebody was on that main gen as well, but don't mind too much. I'll go take a peek at it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Really, really nice gen set up here, actually. Awesome idea to kind of float around here uh, and just give that far one. Yeah, this looks absolutely amazing for us, actually. The one thing we got going for us on this map here, and they are discordance on that far gen. Kind of sucks because I didn't want the zombies to run over there. Oh, what the hell? I don't understand what it's even getting blocked on. Oh, nice one. That was 
good. We'll just hit right for that discordance. Zombies aren't actually turning for it. Some of the hitboxes on this map seem absolutely fucking abysmal. I didn't know that they'd just get blocked on air in some of those spots. Oh, nice. Okay, there's difference. Not something you expect to see. I would really like the zombies to start doing where they need to be, though. Oh, yeah. Should get a little slug going on. Kind of bing chilling. Boom. And yeah, those gates are pretty good for us, so I'm just gonna go see if we can find what Cheryl's up to. You. Oh, over there. Look, look at that info. Very nice. So she didn't touch any gates. Another plot twist. Look like this corner is where they went to. Yep, there he goes. Zombie gave us that info, which is really good. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Well, that looks like it'll do it. We can just drop her real quick. I would be a little surprised if she didn't have an unbreakable or something pop in here, but. Bam, bam, bam. This guy seems totally lost. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> Where'd he go? Boom. Uh, what exhaustion did this guy have to just spam? Boom. Can't remember anymore. There you go, Cheryl. And that betrayer did plot twist again. Oh, there he goes. Look at him. Right over yonder. Blue glowing cosmetic. Yeah, Hatch is probably the only way he's going to have even a little bit of a chance here. Live on him as well. Oh, man. Well, that's unlucky, buddy. Hello, buddy. Good game. That'll do it. Is that 11 hooks? I think we got 11 there because Cheryl died on her second. Oh, they even picked the map too, you little goblins.